Hello, so just a quick update again um, before I go to work this afternoon. Uh, so the trains, the track wasn't running, um, but as you'll see now, I've now got it working. Uh, thanks for all the suggestions in the comments um, about spiderweb, shorts, stuff on the tracks, um, everything else I can't remember right now. I did check them all. Uh, I vacuumed all the track. I vacuumed on uh, underneath where the connectors are. Show you a quick vacuum in here, make sure there's no spider webs and everything. Um, but I worked out finally, well, I thought I'd give you one more go, change my Arduino and my motor shield. Uh, oh, there's the old motor shield. So I've got a new one, I need to mount it properly still, but that seems to fix the issue, which is awesome. Um, so apparently, I blew up one of them doing something wrong. Either the motor shield or the Arduino. Uh, I haven't investigated yet to see which one. Um, <clears throat> also, uh, what was it, about a week and a half ago, I went to the NEC show in Birmingham, the Model World Train Show, or something, I can't remember now what it was called, but it was, it was a good show. Um, and I picked up this little two car DMU. Is it DMU? I don't know. I don't know what it's called. I bought it because um, it reminded me of the trains I used to get on when I was little, going from South End to London with my dad and my older brother. Um, the way it was blue, slam doors, uh, the slam doors, and yeah, it just reminded me of it. So I thought yeah, I'm going to buy that. Uh, it's a Backman uh, 414, I think. Yep, class 414 Backman. It's just running around the track at the moment, just um, running in the instructions uh, in the box. So half hour forwards, half hour backwards. So I've got a little script on the JMRI, just running it forwards. Um, how long has that been going? Five, ten minutes. So it'll keep going for a little bit longer and then it'll automatically stop and go the other way. Uh, and then it'll all be run in, which is awesome. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty cool. So, that's the end of the story, really. Trains are up and running. Um, I've got some more track as well to show. See, I've ripped up this um, part so I can relay it. Uh, this section here was a bit close and I couldn't get two trains in the opposite direction because they hit each other. So I've got my track set up. So I'm probably going to start the curve around a bit here. Get that going nicely, and then I'll take this one up and then run that round again. So, then fingers crossed, I'll be able to have my the whole two trains down back and forwards uh, or Randy Randy, which is uh, where was it? Hogwarts Express, Harry Potter. Um, my wife and I are both Harry Potter fans, that's why I've got that one. It's pretty cool, and I've got the carriages as well. So soon, I plan in the next week or so, I plan to have them all, or, or both, go roundy roundy. And then I can start on the little to and fro on the other track point. Gonna have a double track up to there. Another point there, where it's already laid out. Two station there. My dad helped me put this little shelf on up the other day so I can have another station up there it's going backwards and forwards which will be really cool so yeah thanks for the help again and I will talk to you next time